There is tragic news from our waterways as we come to the end of this long weekend. Four people have drowned in the past four days, making this a deadly weekend on the water. Al Sweeney reports. One of the latest drownings happened last night in Lake Ontario at Port Dalhousie. People on the shore watched as a man fell into the water from a tube. There was someone pulling a tube. He wasn't wearing a life jacket and he slipped under and did not resurface. Sandy Daniels says other people were trying to help the man. All I heard was he's drowning. And then the next thing we seen was the ski doos uh, circling around looking for this gentleman. His body was later recovered. Actually, I'm pretty shaken up. Um, when I heard the words, he's drowning, and I seen all the commotion, um, it was awful to see. In Guelph, a tragedy on Guelph Lake, an area popular with newcomers to Canada. I was fishing and I saw a lot of crowd of people saying help. They were playing at the first, but suddenly they called out for help. Witnesses say a group of young people were swimming in this area when one of them went under, reported to be 17 years old. A lot of guys swimming here, you know. Uh, they are laying after this couple uh, minutes uh, after I saw, and uh, uh, somebody crying. He says the swimmers may have been new Canadians from Afghanistan. It's the second drowning in two weeks in Guelph Lake. In Toronto Sunday, a man died after falling from a tour boat near Ontario Place. And last Friday, police found the body of Cody Thompson, who died in the Grand River after falling from a sea dew he'd just bought. He's a real good kid, and I, I miss him. I want him back. The figures on drownings are grim. The Life Saving Society says last year in 2021, 256 people drowned in Canada. In Ontario, 54 people have drowned so far this year. 80% of the drowning victims are male, and the group with the fastest increase in the rate of drownings is older people aged 65 to 74. Water safety experts say most drownings are predictable and preventable. It's not a matter of being an expert swimmer, it's just a matter of practicing water safety. Like wearing life jackets. Last week, police say a Niagara Falls man was charged after being found with two children, aged five and seven, in a boat with no life jackets. So there's another category of people affected by this tragedy of drowning. The Life Saving Society calls it near drowning. It says that affects about 543 people a year who have to go to hospital after a near drowning. It's non-fatal, but can lead to lifelong disability.